How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to Sleep by the Hearth, where today I'm giving you a little bit of a Karazhan pregame treat. I'm going to be playing a deck using only mage spells. So let's get this uh, intro screen out of the way, and you can see what I'm talking about. In fact, just before we go in, I'll show you exactly what I have lined up for you. So every card in here is only a spell. Now some of it may have the ability to summon something like Mirror Entity, but it's only because of the spell effect that I'm able to use it. So it's kind of my way to possibly still have a minion around. But other than that, nothing with spells. Let's see how far we can get. We only have time for maybe a couple rounds, so let's make it worth it while we can. And since, uh, you know, I'm ranked 22 since I haven't really been doing anything, might as well just jump right into the rank scene. I'm willing to bet someone will be uh, very confused as to what kind of mage they're playing against when they don't see anything come out onto the field. Now that being said, I still will use my hero power because it too is also magic. But all of this is of course in for the theme of Karazhan since it's not technically out yet. But it will be out tomorrow and I can't wait to play yet to decide whether or not I'm going to be whispering any of it or not, but uh, you guys can leave some comments on whether you want it to be whispered or soft-spoken like I usually do. Alright, this looks like a pretty good opening hand, so let's go for it. That mirror entity I'm going to want to save, because uh, it's my only real chance at getting something, so I have to make it count. So let's see what kind of a warlock we're facing up against, and then we'll kind of go from there. I think I'm going to also save the coin. No real sense in trying to burn that up right away. In fact, it's kind of funny. One of the things I was thinking about when it came to the coin is I wonder if the coin should actually be taken away from the game just because so many things interact with spells now. And in a way, it almost is more advantageous to go second. Let's see if you'll uh, expect to vaporize. I'm not sure you will, to be perfectly honest. Not many mages play vaporize these days. Oh, that's even better. Alright, so right off the bat we're getting rid of that, which is pretty good. I think for now we're just going to stick with... Uh, Poking that out of the way. So I finally got a chance to review all of the Karazhan cards, and I gotta say, I'm pretty pumped with what I see. All right, I think uh, I think we should start trying to go to the face. Otherwise, we're not gonna get anywhere. I'll just kind of leave it there for now. using the, oh man, that mirror entity would have been so good. In fact, it would have been perfect. Alright. Well, we could Frost Nova. Uh, nah, I think we'll, we'll wait on the Frost Nova. He's not going to play anything really expensive. So I'll have to hold on to things. So I think instead... intellect. There we go. Looking pretty good to me. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Vaporize and Frostbolt. Be Frostbolt next turn. I'll Frostbolt this Crocolisk if he doesn't play out anything else. And that way he'll be forced to attack with a 7-6. But he might be wise. It could be another Vaporize. Which, that was a very unintentional rhyme. But I'll take it. Alright, he's going for a very interesting zoo approach. I don't know if I have the ability to like, play out everything. So Vaporize will be 3, Mirror Energy will be 3, or Frostbolt will be 2. Uh, yep, 
that actually is the perfect amount. Okay, so here's what we do. Now we play the vaporize. And now we play the flame. Now let's see how silly he'll be this time around. I'm really, really hoping he attacks it. I wonder if he's noticed all I've played so far spell cards. Alright, is he gonna hold off? Yep, he does. Alright, that actually works perfectly well for me too. Because what I can do in the meantime is I can actually lay down an ice barrier. And I'm gonna use a forgotten torch on his face. So one of my roaring torches might be coming up eventually, and I have two fireballs waiting to kill him. Yep, vaporize kind of figured to kill that, and that's perfectly fine. And we get a ton of armor to see us through to the very end. I have to admit, I'm not terribly worried, because I still have quite the arsenal in my hand. But you never know, he's got a lot of cards as well, so if he has any kind of health regen, that could really muck up our chances of winning. I am a little sad though, because I wasn't able to include a Pyroblast, but I've never had a Pyroblast, so that's kind of kind of where that lies at the moment. Alright. So he's going to his turn. I think that might actually be coming up on game. it can't be vaporized but that's the only thing he knows let's see how he plays around this I'll take that alright so he's going to use a shadow bolt on it that's fine it's funny I don't think I've ever actually really paid attention to the shadow bolt or mortal coil animation but I feel like they're brand new. And that's gonna end the game. Wow, I can't believe I actually won with this deck. That's kind of amazing. I had no intentions of doing that at all, but that's good that we won for the first one, so let's uh let's go see what magic we can make happen. No pun intended. Medivh would be very proud. Oddly enough, I kind of feel like I should purchase the Medivh Hero just, uh, just so I can, you know, accept the invitation to my own party kind of a thing. But, uh, I won't do that. Mostly because I don't want to spend the $10 on the champion. Really, just for, you know, a new portrait. It's not bad. It's just, that's not something I want to spend the money on right now. So I've been in talks with some people, and uh, what I mean by talks is, and uh, I messaged them a couple times, and they've messaged me back about ch new channel art, and I feel really bad because it's, I haven't really been keeping in touch, but uh, as I upload this tonight, I'm actually going to be looking at some examples and sending them to some of the people I've contacted. Now, I don't want anyone to think that their efforts have gone to waste, because uh, what my plan is is whatever I don't use for the channel, it'll either be used for Twitter or it'll be used for Twitch. Uh, there might be another one I'm thinking of. No, that's about it. So you got it. I need essentially three new pieces of art because if you're on my Twitch page, all you see is the stupid uh, fight poster I made of Anoyatron and the other thing. It's not really doing me a whole lot of good. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, since this is a warrior, we're just going to lay out the arcane 
missiles and call it a day. Get that early game damage. Now I know we're not going to beat a warrior just because he armors up. And the reason I beat the warlock is because he also drained his own health. So uh, I'm not getting too far ahead of myself. I know this deck is not really good. But it is pretty funny that I did have that victory. Should I quit out Ice Barrier? Probably not. Just pling away one of them armor plates. Call it a day. Oh man, it's gonna be an armor warrior. Things are gonna get uh, rather interesting, I suppose. Two could play that game. Let's see how he responds in kind. Now I know, I know some people don't really care for the mouse clicking. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I could do about that. We're just gonna go ahead and vaporize this one. Actually, you know what? We're gonna rip it and flame it. We'll save vaporize for, for something a little bit more uh, devious. De devious? Yeah, that's the one. I don't know why I was about to say devious. That's not a word. Ah, hey, there's a guy. Probably just gonna throw the Forgotten Torch on him so he can forget about this Corcoran Elite. I'm really hoping to drop my Kabbalah Stone. Mirror Image isn't bad. Let's go ahead and chuck that out there. There we are. Beautiful. Gotta love that golden one. Shiny, shiny. I gotta say, I always found it funny with mirror image. It's a gnome, and his mirror image is a female mage. So, that mirror has uh, been lying to him. He's gonna burn axe charges on that. That's what I hate. There we go. That's the one we wanted. I'm not gonna use that. How's that? Oh, it's just a minion anyway. Definitely don't want to do that. Hey, there's that pyroblast I wanted really bad. Let's just take a moment to admire the golden pyroblast that I hold in my hand. It's so shiny, it's so beautiful. And it's the first thing I'm playing on turn ten. You you can uh you can bet your pretty penny on that. Alright. Another forgotten torch. second both times because uh you know all spells in my deck and I get the coin it's kind of a beautiful thing <laughs> yes what now indeed rush what are you gonna do you got just as many cards as I do you gotta play something otherwise uh I'm gonna keep hurting you because I'm winning. I have three more health than you. And I have more cards in my deck, so if we keep going at this rate, uh, you're going to draw yourself into nothing. Fair enough, fair enough. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we... Nah, you know what, we'll let him go. Fireball into the face, though. Just like that. Then we'll end the turn. He's probably going to put something out next turn. Then we can kind of cold it. That'll be fine. Let's see what he gets. Well, <laughs> the fact that nothing came out on my deck is pretty hilarious. I bet he was not expecting that. I bet he was not expecting that at all. That's pretty great. Alright, so you're gonna do some damage. Do you feel really proud? Because 
you should. Alright, so we got that. Now let's go ahead and do our Cabal Stone. Beautiful. That's like the winning hand. Obviously, we gotta play Blizzard. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, now I think we play our Vaporize. And then we call it a day. The only problem with Pyroblast is uh, I'm gonna need two turns. Oh, good, I hope he does that. Please, by all means. You know, I don't really know how I'm going to get rid of that Wind Fury. That's going to hurt a lot. Alright. Oh, what do you think he's got me? That's, that's sad. Alright. Uh, I think this turn will be our Ice Block. say this is working out to be pretty hilarious. I'm sure you guys are on the edge of your seats and if you're not you should be. Alright so he's got 11 damage that's fine. We can start opening up on him. Problem is he's able to armor up so much. Brought down to 19. We've got another 16 in hand. 17 if you count the fire blast for the following turn. Okay, that's fine. That was very interesting. So we gotta come up with some plays. That's a good play. There we go. That's what I like to see. I'm tempted to lay down a counter spell, to be honest. But I don't know if that's gonna go according to plan or not. So I think we'll just uh, zing it on in as much as we can. the ice block so we should be pretty good for at least another two turns or three depending on how things go now that was impressive all right so oh hey look there we go Let's see here, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we throw the, uh, the Frostbolt in, to be honest. Just gotta keep him on the edge of a seat. We might get another Forgotten Torch. Some of you might say it's luck of the draw. I would say it's luck of the draw with a pinch of magic. Oh, that would have been beautiful, the mirror entity. Oh well, guess I'll just have to take this. He 
even then that doesn't really buy me a whole lot. Oh man, he's gonna pop my bubble. This is not what I was hoping I would have happen. So I thought that was pretty fun. Don't know about you guys. It's a good thing I can't lose the rest of this rank, right? Alright. So for those of you who made it this far, you're in for a bit of a treat. Let's see if we can get some uh, magical cards out of the deal here. Let's go ahead and purchase that pack. Give it the old 1-2. Uh, Starting off with an epic, a rare. Yeah, we'll just keep it at that, I guess. But we get another Faceless Shambler, which is pretty good. And an Owl Grizzly, which not too bad. And now it's time to see if I actually had either of those. So let's go Disenchant. Yep, it looks like I actually did have two Faceless Shamblers. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that works for me. That's a lot of dust. Alright, guys. I want to take the time to thank you once again for joining me on this episode of Sleep by the Hearth. Probably going to be changing that over to the Sleepy Hearth as soon as I hit 500 subscribers, uh, just because that way I can have everything unified. And quite frankly, I, I think it sounds a little bit better rolling off the tongue. Plus, if you actually go on YouTube and look up the Sleepy Hearth, I pop up first anyway. So that's just uh, probably how it's going to be moving forward. But uh, once again, thank you guys. Love you very much. Can't wait to, to play some cares in with you. And yeah, let's uh, let's make that 500 subscriber goal happen soon. Come on, I, I, I believe in you guys. So I mean, almost 500 of, of you have believed in me so far, and I thank you for that support. So with that, I hope all of you have a really good night, and I'll catch you on the next one.